greatest of all, as far as the most probably significant, was I was in Toronto and I was preaching the message like this. And there was a blonde-headed missionary there by the name of Heidi. And John Arnott had showed me her and said she was here a few months ago and got healed. She's back because she's spiritually desperate. She's burned out really bad, and she needs God to touch her again. And she doesn't think she can keep on uh, uh, ministering unless he touches her. So I knew her need. And I knew that she had uh, a little church of 300, counting 200 orphans or 300 orphans. And I knew she's burned out. I was preaching this message about pressing into God, not giving up, and desiring the anointing. She couldn't stand anymore, and she ran to the front. She got on her knees, and she's crying profusely, and that, that's as far as it goes, because everybody else did the same thing. So I looked at her, and I knew her name was Heidi. I said, Heidi, God wants to know, do you want the nation of Mozambique? Now, that's a crazy prophetic word to give to somebody. I didn't know it was prophecy. I just thought I was praying. Um, and, and, and somebody that's burned out? Got a little church of 100 people. They're all, I mean, 300 people. They're all orphans. God wants to know, do you want the nation of Mozambique? She only says, yes. <laughs> then I heard myself say, God's going to give you the nation of Mozambique. You'll see the blind see, the deaf hear, the lame walk, and the dead be raised. <laughs> and an anointing came upon her that lasted, was it seven or eight days? I'm getting it, it was seven days or eight days, seven or eight days, day and night, 24 hours a day, and she had to be carried out of the meeting and carried back in by her husband, and the power of God, sometimes she's weeping, sometimes she's laughing, sometimes she's drunk, sometimes she's sweating. She said, as soon as I said those words, fire hit her. She began to sweat profusely. She was feeling the power of God so strong, she got scared and said, God, you're going to kill me. And he said, good, I need you dead. <laughs> now, that would be, that freaked me out. I thought the one time he's going to kill me, and if I'd heard that, I would have thought of what I'd done. <laughs> then God said to her, hundreds of churches and thousands of people, and she said, how can that be, Lord? My husband and I have started s s seven churches in 15 years, or five churches in 15 years. How? Or 17 years. How can that be? And he began to show her. Many of you have heard that story. What you haven't maybe heard was a few years later, I go to the Mozambique for the first time in my life. And we're up in this city called Pimba, not Pimba, Beira. And we have a, room, a building, something like this, and a lot of people are there. And the spirit falls and Heidi falls. You see, Heidi almost never manifests in Mozambique. She only manifests a lot in the West. And she asked the Lord about that once. She said, I just need somebody who's willing to not be afraid of anything, let me do anything I want. Because in the West, control is a big issue. In Africa, control is not a big issue. But this time she falls. And I know they're not used to seeing her like this. Because I'm looking and all the eyes are bugged. And they're looking, not only her, but Roland and 12 leaders. They're all on the floor shaking. And this time, the Lord spoke to her again. And he said, I mean, first time was hundreds of churches and thousands of people. This time, she went into a vision. She saw ships coming with supplies. And the Lord said, thousands of churches and millions of people. <laughs> now, Heidi told me this. Randy, that was easier to believe than the first one. Because but now that I'd seen what he had done to the first one, I knew he could do it with the second one. And a life was changed. And a continent is being changed. 